What's up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here for Live by Live, hanging out in the live zone. And now I am joined by one of the fighters, Faze Jarvis. How's it going? I'm, it's going well. How are you doing? That's the question. I'm feeling great. You know, this is this is really real. So um, we got one more day. I'm excited. Um, you've been training a lot. I've been I've been watching the videos. How do you feel incredibly strong right now? Like, tell us yeah, about yeah, what's I going feel, on. Yeah, I feel, you know, I've, I've never been in, uh, this is like the best shape of my life I've ever yeah. been in. And, uh, you know, it's a win-win either way. I get to go in front of a crowd of thousands of people, and I feel, I feel great, so. so. Is it intimidating knowing how many people are going to be watching? Because, like, yeah. it's a big deal. Like, how, are you? I've been trying to, you know, prep myself as much as I can, but there's no real way you can prep yourself to, uh, to get in a ring in front of that many people is something you just have to do, so. You got it. I, yeah. I believe in you in that <laughs> way. <Thank> you. <laughs> What's been the one thing you've learned about boxing that maybe you were surprised about? One thing I've learned, I've, you know, I've grown a lot of respect for boxing, and uh, it's really a lot of dedication and consistency to the sport. You have to actually love what you're doing. If you, uh, if you go into boxing and you aren't enjoying it and aren't having fun, you won't learn much, and uh, that's one thing I've really really had fun with with my coach Otis at the Mayweather gym in uh, Vegas every day you know I'm excited to go there and I'm excited to train so it's like a really good part of my day do you think you could see yourself doing this on a more professional level after this I mean obviously the fight hasn't happened yet but it seems yeah. like no yeah win or lose so like I said I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna carry on boxing you know it's only been three months and I've improved so much so a year's time two years time who knows what could happen you know so I love that you actually got to meet up with Tyson Fury, who's a heavyweight champ. Yep. Um, I've watched many of his fights. Yeah. He's incredible, obviously. Awesome. But what did he? T what were like his words of wisdom for you? His words of wisdom was just, um, you know, especially when he, because uh, this is my first fight, so I've got the nerves. But he said, when you go in there, just have fun. You know, don't don't take everything too serious. You're gonna you'll tense up if you just stay loose, calm, and. Uh, just have fun with it and that's all you can do enjoy the moment yeah that's got to be so good to hear and I feel like that is actually really great advice yeah so you don't like overthink it for tomorrow exactly exactly are you worried about not being able to sleep tonight because I feel like yeah yeah like no, nerves of for it sure yeah I feel like I could take some sleeping pills maybe I'll <laughs> I'll get it going whatever I'll, works yeah um well let's talk about your opponent Michael Lee yeah I love that you put him on blast about him getting into going into your DMs you literally yeah like, I mean my, my favorite thing but why why so kind of talk about that and why you needed to uh, go that route. You know, this is a boxing match, so there's got to be some beef. There's got to be some, like, entertainment to it. So he wanted to start some fake beef. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to start something real, so that's that's what I did. What did he say to you behind the scenes about that? Was he, like, upset, or did he... He actually didn't call me, text me after that video. I didn't really see anything. I saw he posted some TikToks, but that's that's really it. I don't know. So why do you think you're going to win in the Why do I think I'm going to win? I mean, I've been training heavily. I've been sparring a lot. That's the one thing that Otis has, uh, has shown me is how much sparring I've done. I've done nearly, I think I've done 100 rounds of sparring. Wow. So in the last three months from nothing, sparred like world champions. And that's one way you can improve boxing is by sparring people that are better than you because you always learn from them. And, uh, you know, I feel really confident. And yeah, I'm excited. What do you think you're, how do you think you're gonna surprise him in the ring? I think when he, uh, you know, feels how hard I punch, it's gonna shock him. So, you know, I'm ready for that. I've sparred, I've been hit, so I'm ready for anything. And you're ready for a knockout. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm going for. First round, second round, what do you think? I mean, I'm not the best boxer, so I can't really call a round, but I'm gonna pressure him until he's on the floor. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Um, and then talk about Bryson Austin. What do you think, like, do you think it's gonna be a close fight? Do you think, like, what do you, yeah, what I you've mean, seen? You saw them in the way, I've, the way in. I've only seen, like, a little bit of footage on both sides. Austin looks better at boxing. He looks more, he looks quicker. He looks like he's got the techni techniques down. Yeah. So, um, it's gonna be interesting. I, I, you know, I'm team YouTube, so yeah. I think Austin's gonna take team it. Team YouTube all the way, there yeah, it is. Sure. And obviously you're part of FaZe Clan. Yeah. For people who, who are watching who maybe don't know what FaZe Clan is, talk about what it means to you to be a part of that family. You know, it's uh, it's growing so much every every day since when I joined to uh, where it is today. You know, it's just getting bigger. It's growing into like the music scene, uh, more sports scene. You know, it's, it's really um, 
it's really a big family and uh, it's, I've seen it so much over the last few months of how much all of them have supported me throughout all of this and uh, just had my back. So, you know, FaZe is family. I love that. And you're always bringing in celebrities, athletes yeah, to come in. Exactly. Who is someone maybe you were a bit starstruck over? Um, who? That's, that's a good one. I don't, probably uh, when I met Offset for the first I mean. time. That was a crazy one. He came over one time and we, uh, we were talking to him till like 4 a.m. Just, you know, he's a super nice guy. And, uh, you know, I, I was never expecting to do that. What did you talk about? Just life. <laughs> life. What was the takeaway? <laughs> <laughs> I may, you know, that's personal. We're going to okay, okay. keep it like um, All right, what are your last words before you get into the ring tomorrow? Like, what do you want to say to your fans, yeah, people I mean, who are watching, the haters? Yeah, everyone watching, you know, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me over the last few months. It's really helped me, um, you know, become more confident and just get in the ring and uh, having all the people behind me supporting me. It's awesome. So much love. And I'm, uh, I'm going to get a knockout for you guys, so don't worry. There it is. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jarvis. Right. You're incredible. Nice and we will see you tomorrow. Yes, Good luck. Sir. Let's you go. got this. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out. Keep it locked here at the Live Zone. We'll be right back. Come on, 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 come on.